Hey everyone, this is Tickle, and in this video we're going to talk about legendaries in Shadowlands. Not just Shaman specifically, but all the classes. Something that you probably haven't heard a whole lot about, and that's about how do you get them? What is the way that you get the recipes to be able to craft these legendaries? On the beta right now, you can just log in, you have all the recipes, you learn them, you get to use them all. Well, guess what? That's not really the case when you're going to be playing the game or when I'm going to be playing the game when it officially comes out. There are certain things that will gate you from getting access to certain legendaries. The recipes, while they're 100% drop rate, and doesn't matter what spec you're on, they will be limited because of the content. The content might be too hard to get to right away as soon as the X-Pack launches. This is particularly important because some people are planning what legendary may get first, second, third, in week one, in week two, in week three. Blizzard keeps changing which ones will be, I mean, how much currency you're going to have, the ability to make one the first week or not. But this is something that I haven't heard a single person talk about. I'm sure people have, but I want to share with you a few resources, a few links that will help you know where the heck am I going to go to get that legendary that I want. So first of all, there's this article in Wowhead. Wowhead has a lot of good stuff on this. It's pretty, I mean, and I hadn't heard about this until the chat shared this with me. Big shout out to my chat, the smartest and best looking chat on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash tickle this. Be part of them. You can be attractive too. Uh, number one, you know, you gotta, you gotta make, you gotta realize a few things. Number one, for the, uh, uh, for memory of the rune carver recipes to drop, the character has to be level 60 and unlock the rune car carver by unlocking the maw and helping the rune carver awaken. Now, here's the thing. You could do dungeons or whatever other content before you're 60. You won't get these recipes. Just good to know. Not really too big of a surprise. Next up, the next part, uh, that, like I mentioned, the unlocks are tied to specific sources, which is different for every class. Big important thing to know. Uh, legendary recipes will have a 100% drop rate regardless of your loot special saving. This is good to know. I can go in as Resto. I can get the Ellie one. I can go in as a Feral Druid and I can get the Guardian one. I can go in as a Fire Mage. I can get the Arcane one. Good to know. So let's go ahead and like, okay, well, you're saying these different places. Well, let's go ahead and go through it. Number one, there's a set of legendaries that are general to everybody. Anybody can use them no matter what the spec is, the class, etc. These are from a bunch of different honored reputations, PvP honor vendor. These are very straightforward things like, oh, I'll just get that reputation up and I'll get that. Okay, by doing daily quests, or sorry, by doing world quests, by doing what, right? Then there's a little bit more vague things, and we'll, we'll drive, we'll, we'll drill down in a minute. But Tower Gas, Tower of the Damned. Well, that's cool that I know it's from the tower, but where in the tower? Because not all wings of the tower are available every week. That means, let's say, for example, this is a particular wing that you have to complete. If that's not available week one, two, three, or, or on, on, on those particular days, you're going to have to wait for that rotation to come around. So get familiar of the rotation of the wings. That is going to be very important. And of course, there's a resource that describes that right here. Of the six tor of the six wings of Torgas, only two will be active at a time, rotating every week. So ex for example, if yours is on a particular wing that's not available this week, maybe it's next week. Maybe it's next week. You know, and you have to do a certain difficulty. So we'll get into how you're going to get them specifically, but that's just something that's really, really good to know. Now, let's go ahead and keep go uh, keep going through, right? So this is certain ways. The Great Vault, that is how you do your weekly chest every week for PvP or PvE. So you'll unlock that very easily. And only certain classes and only certain situations or specs will use these general ones. But tanks, I've, heard, I've seen a lot of tanks using a Vitality Sacrifice, reflecting damage from elites onto back onto the mobs does a lot of damage um but let's go we'll just go through certain classes because this all this will give you an idea of what oh oh i need to look at this depending on what class you are because look dk has tons of legendaries across all the specs and you're seeing stone legion generals castle uh, Nathra, uh nathria this is the one of the last bosses so you're like oh shit when am i gonna get to the last boss or the uh, last set of bosses Maybe not in the first week. This is something where you might not get to this point for a little bit of time. Now, it doesn't say anything about the difficulties, meaning that maybe you can do it on normal difficulty pretty quickly and get this legendary. And people will probably be doing that and full clearing to get these recipes. Yes, once you kill this boss ever, you'll get the recipe. But it's just good to know that you need to target certain, the ones you're going to be planning to target, like I've been doing tier lists for shamans, for all the specs of shamans and what legendaries to get. This is what you need to be thinking about when you're going for these. 
because maybe this isn't is this this is going to be gated by a few weeks of gear for example not to mention the raid won't be out right away so it's you know there's there's some weeks out that you have to keep in mind another one a certain boss in theater of pain so that's good to know that will come through doing mythic plus etc again the torgas tower now again you don't know what wing it is you don't know what difficulty it is we'll get back to that uh, the big important thing though is that I, like I mentioned, there are raid bosses here. Those raid bosses you might not get to. So you just want to plan for that. The other big one that I've heard a lot of people say they're not happy, like they're worried about, is the world bosses. Now, the world bosses are going to be up and they're going to be on a rotation. Of course, that's the way they always are. Every week, there will be one. But you have to remember, it does say that so far, they're 100% drop rate. Once you see that boss, you go out there and you kill it. Now, again, depending on the number of bosses, Depending on if you're there that, like, say you're out of town that week, you might be waiting some weeks to be able to get that particular legendary. Meaning you have to make a decision. Are you going to pull that soul ash up and waiting for those opportunities? Or are you going to spend it early on something for the meantime? Because this will be accessible week one. You will be able to craft legendaries week one. So it's good to kind of think about this stuff. This is some of the stuff I recommend you do between now and launch. Definitely stuff that you can actually make productive use of your time on, right? Uh, so that's that. There's also ones though, like I was mentioning about the bosses, like I'm just looking through a world boss again, Nathria, Nathria, the tower. Again, I'll show you how we can figure out which ones those are. It doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard. You should just know what you're targeting. Now, let me go down to Shaman. Shaman's close to my heart. I main Shaman on every single spec, as you all know. There's ones that are from the last boss of the raid. So until LFG is out, there's a pretty good chance week one, I hope at least, you know, you hope that you, people aren't just sloshing through all the raid content. This one could be gated by a little bit. Not to mention to get through that first, maybe it's the normal run that we do or the heroic run to full clear the, you know, to the end boss. I won't have this legendary, so I might have to do another one in the meantime, or do I pull it? It almost reminds me back in the day with DKP. Are you going to spend your DKP on that little bit of an upgrade, or are you going to pull it so that when you get the good one, you can use it, and then you can upgrade it? Remember, you use Soul Ash to make legendaries. You also use Soul Ash to upgrade legendaries, so keep that in mind. As well as, uh, you know, I could maybe, if I pull it up there, maybe when I do the raid and I get the last boss, I pick up this one, you know, and then I'll also be able to get Doom wins earlier. This, uh, the world boss will be, you know, maybe that's on week three. So I'm not really too worried about getting them. It's going to take probably three or four weeks to get all the ones you want based on these RNG factors. It's just good to know. Um, and I, I would imagine you could also do, if there's anything on a mythic difficult or on a dungeon, you could do it on a normal heroic potentially, or even just mythic zero. I don't think those will be tough to get. The only ones that will be gated are the raid ones, but not for that long. We're all very good at this game, right? Right? So that's just good for you to know. I want to make sure that you're aware of this because some people aren't really clear. And clearly when you're on the beta or you're watching people play the beta, what you're seeing is that they're just getting whatever legendary they want. It's not a big deal. And if it's, it's not. It's not a big deal. So now let me show you another tool that, which I will now unleash upon you because this will tell you exactly what wing you want to go to. I don't know who made this spreadsheet. I'm going to admit it was not me. Uh, these are also, also conduits. We'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, so you can scroll through here and I'll go down to the bottom shaman. What you'll be able to see here is that that uh, that tor Tower of Torgas won the Elemental Equilibrium, right? This was Torgas of the Damned. It's layer three. Three plus of the of the tower. So and it's of the fractured chambers. No, I mean, sure, I'm gonna be clearing it anyway, but it's just good to know. Like, hey, oh shit, fra fractured chambers is up first. Let's get in there and let's get that legendary out of there. Same here, same here. You're gonna be farming them anyway, but layer three is good to know because you're gonna have to go through layer one, layer two, and then you're gonna do three, right? So four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a lot of layers in Torgas. If you don't know about it, let me know down in the comments. I can make a video explaining it simply to you. But that's it. That's what you should know. This is another Another resource for you share with your friends it is extremely useful i'll put the links down below but that's what you need to be targeting that's what you need to be thinking about and for conduits check the other link which is going to be this page where you can go and you can explore what are all the conduits for your specific class now that you know that there's a place that can show you even where to find them so with that being said i want to thank you for watching this video this is just me sharing information with you as we're getting ready for the huge launch of shadowlands i also want to give a shout out to uh g fuel they recently just sponsored me uh which i am incredibly hyped about you can use the code tickle to get 10% to 30% off. It's 30% until this fall, this 
this coming Tuesday, and then it'll be 10% off all the G Fuel stuff. So go ahead, check the link down below, click that puppy and check it out. If you have any questions about the product, hit me up on the stream or uh, you know, you can send me a message on Twitter, whatever it is. But I wanna thank, I wanna thank G Fuel. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and the all the Patreons and Twitch Prime and Twitch subs for uh, supporting me. I am incredibly thankful. Thank you guys so much. So with that being said, we'll see you in the next video or on stream every day. Hit that sub button, hit that like button if you like this content and we'll see you in Shadowlands. Take care, everybody.